Preliminary lab reports came back. Fiber samples are a match. It was a stalker. The same animal who killed Blair and Courtney and Yvette LaPointe stood here and strangled Frankie on the spot. So where do we start? Well, we, we found this mark. I think maybe Frankie was trying to write something. She may have been trying to leave us a message. Frankie's laying here dying and she tries to leave us a clue. Why her? Why Frankie? Why? Why did the stalker have to kill my cousin? Hey there. Look, if Rita sent you, you can tell her that my overtime isn't costing the hospital a cent. I just can't go home. I gotta keep working until I know Frankie's okay. What's wrong? Lorna, where's, where's Frankie? They found her body in the woods. so soon. Oh. We were supposed to grow old together. Why did this happen? You have to help me to understand because I can't do it alone. I don't know how. Oh God, I need you. I need our family. They're everything to me now. But our family is nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Cass, <sighs> maybe you should come away now, honey. I would like some privacy, please. Sweetheart, there's nothing more you can do for Frankie now. I'm taking her home with me. Yes, you can't. I promised that I would always take care of her, and I intend to keep that promise. Now get out of my way! Get out of my way! I'm taking my wife home. You've kept all of your promises to Frankie. But she's gone now. She said she'd never leave you. She didn't leave you. <laughs> she was taken away, Cass. Her life was taken away. There was nothing that Frankie wanted more than to be your wife and to love you. No. Whoever did this to her wouldn't let that happen. No, he wouldn't. And he killed me, too. No, no, he didn't. Then you do it. I don't care how. Put a bullet through my head. Put a knife through my heart. If you've ever loved me, Felicia, I beg you, just do it. Cass. Just put an end to this agony I'm in, please. Cass, this is not going to bring her back. Then I'm going with her. I can't live without her. I don't want to live without her. You have a little girl at home. She needs you, buddy. Oh, God, please, don't. She's going to miss her mother so much. 
You can't take her father from her, too. You, you can't do that. I know you can't. Oh, poor child. Sweetheart, she's waiting for you right now. She's waiting for her daddy. Frankie would want you to do this to me. This is my mommy's favorite color, yellow. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> that's, I love that color too. It's like the sun. Yes, like her sun. <laughs> and it's it's like yellow roses. I love yellow roses. Do you love yellow roses? But then again, I, I think you love every color rose. Yeah. <laughs> my mommy's coming home soon. Charlie, I understand your mummy made your dolly a brand new dress, and I haven't even seen it. Could you get it and show it to me? Oh, please. Mm. Oh. We came as soon as we heard. We thought we could help Charlie and Cass somehow, <laughs> but now that we're here... You realize just... that there's really... Nothing you can do, Dad. And I shouldn't have brought you. Oh, it's all right. Just being here is enough. I shouldn't have brought you. There's, there's no, not no, enough no, distance. No, no, no. Enough distance. You never get enough distance. No, you don't. I'll never have distance from Ryan's death. You know what I'm trying to say. I know, I know. And I appreciate it. I really do. Um, you just, you're trying to protect me. Oh, come on, you guys. This is the closest thing to, to hell on earth, you know? I mean, but, but somehow... You survive it. You survived it. So did you. I'll survive it. I'm not exactly saying I'm happy, but, uh, you know, you just, you try to move forward for your kids. You know something? I just hope that no one tells Cass, you know, time will heal the pain because uh, I think he's too smart for that. Frankie is. that she tried to fight him off. The stalker. <laughs> he killed Courtney and now he... Oh my God, oh my God. Is this for real? Frankie, Frankie, Frankie was... Sorry, <gasps> Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Wait a second, I gotta get to Cass. I gotta, um, Charlie. Oh my, oh my. Look, look, look I gotta, uh, I gotta find my keys. I gotta find my car. Keys. Here. Come on, I'm driving. Adams, have the forensics team go over the room one more time for hair and fiber samples. Frankie may have ripped the stalker's shirt in the struggle. We could have missed some fibers on the floor. Also, make sure you get some clear impressions of these footprints around the body. When we finally catch this bastard, I want there to be more than enough evidence to bury him in. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. So what do we got here? It looks like it could be an L. Is that uh, right? L for Lorna. He tried to kill her, too. Well, maybe it's a, a message, you know, that she's still in danger. All right, all right, all right, all right. We... we... We got all these victims, they're women, okay? What else do they have in common? I don't see it. I don't see anything. Well, we knew three of them. 
Okay, there's that, but what about the hospital cleaning woman? We didn't know her. Right. Yeah, we've got to figure out what links these murders together, then we'll know why he's doing this. <laughs> but we can't. We can't. You know, and it's been months, and all these women are dead, and... And now my cousin is. She threw me a bridal shower last night. <laughs> last night she threw me a bridal shower, and now she's dead. And I'm never gonna see her again. Josie, I know you want to see this case through, but... Listen, I just made Sinclair a deputy, uh... to see this one through. Why don't you take her home, Gary? You know, I can't do that, Kevin. It's okay. I can't. Now, look, I'm not gonna promise you that Josie's gonna keep her emotions out of this case. Because she loved Frankie very much, but for that very reason, I think she's gonna work doubly hard to see that we catch this guy. I think that's what we need right now, don't you? You'll be careful. I will. Thank you, sir. Hey. Well, this is gonna be tough. You know that, right? You know where we have to start, so... Okay? Mm-hmm. Where's my brother? Where's Charlie? Charlie's in the room, the other room, with, with, with uh, Vicky and Donna. She doesn't know yet. We wanted to wait until Cass got here. Poor kid. It wasn't just a mother-daughter thing with those two. They were real friends, those two were. Lola, uh, possibly you can help Gary and Josie. Uh, they're interested in the gold chain that Vicky gave to Frankie last time. That chain uh, had belonged to me. And then I gave it to Vicky, and she gave it to Frankie. You had that chain, Lorna? Can you describe Enough it? Enough talk about the investigation. It's too late now, isn't it? It's too late. Frankie's... Morgan, please. Charlie doesn't know, all right? Don't let her find out this way. Tell my little girl. This Charlie needs me. Cass. It's all right. Just give me some. Here we go. Oh, oh, what happened? You're okay. The floor went right out from under me. How do you feel right now? Why don't we sit you down right here? No more questions, okay? He's still in shock. Here we go. What can we do? Maybe water. some water. All right. Water. Yeah, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Kid, is that you? Yeah. Hey. Good, you're all here. Except Frankie. She's gone, is she? Frankie's gone. I gotta go to Charlie. Where is she? She's in the bedroom with Donna and Vicky. We haven't told her, Cass. Maybe it's better not to for the time being. No. We don't hide the truth from each other in this family. That was one thing that Frankie always insisted on. Okay. How do I tell my little girl that her mother isn't coming back anymore? Mommy said when I'm 10, I can get my ears pierced. Your mother always wore the most interesting jewelry. And you have her smile, Charlie. It's a beautiful smile. You know something? I think this is a beautiful earring. You want me to help you put it on? That's my mommy's job. She helps me. She always helps me. Daddy! Yes, <clears throat> Did you bring mommy home? Meeting over at the house. All right, I'll see you. Tony can watch Dante for a while. Oh, Richard. Joe. 
know he's not going to have a mother now. <laughs> Rachel, can I come home with you? Nick's not home and I don't want to I'm be... not going home, Maggie. I'm going back to Cass. You may come too if you like. No, I can't go. He's, he's not going to want to see me now. I was horrible to Frankie and he knows all the terrible things Maggie, I said. Maggie, about... I don't have time for this right now. This isn't about you. It's about Cass and Charlie and what they're going through. And it is time now for them to have all of their friends gather and help support them through this. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? How do we find meaning out of such a violent end? I don't know any other way than by refusing to descend into the madness. Everything Frankie stood for must live on in us. That's Frankie's gift. It wasn't exactly Frankie's dream come true when she got stuck with me for a stepdaughter. But even after all the stuff I pulled, she forgave me. She said I was still part of the family. Frankie, I promise you I'm going to be there for Charlie. She still has a sister, okay? Joe told Frankie first that he was in love with me. She was there for him through all that craziness with Jake. It meant so much to Joe that she was on his side. Who knows if it hadn't been for Frankie. Frankie's faith and those wonderful vibes of hers, Joe and I might not be Dante's mom and dad today. The Winthrops didn't have faith in anything besides money until Frankie Frame came along. You rescued Cass from an empty life. And then I showed up to Bay City, and you were the only one who welcomed me with open arms. You brought Cass and I back together. Best of all, I got to see the love that you put into every single minute you had with your daughter. Charlie won't ever forget how much you love her. She'll never forget you. Neither will Can't I. Can't help thinking if Ryan were here, he would have found some way to save Frankie. She'd still have her life. <sighs> what is Charlie going to do now that Frankie can't hold her anymore? My darling Frankie, always for the rest of my life, I'll carry you in my heart. I'll remember your laugh. I'll remember your honesty, even when it hurt to be honest. But most of all, I'll remember the love you had for my best friend. This week, daytime's biggest troublemaker finds trouble of her own. My baby is missing. But no one believes her. This is just another one of your schemes. I'm not sure a crime was committed here. And the kidnapper's getting away. Please, so much for my baby. Baby nap, a child stolen this week on Days of Our Lives, NBC Daytime. What? That he's still out there and he keeps getting away with it. Do you have any more leads? No, damn it, we don't have anything. We have the same thing we had since the night Blair Baker was shot. Take it easy. Which Take is it obviously easy. not enough. Take it easy, okay? I can't do that. I owe Frankie, I owe, I owe Cass and Charlie and, and everybody that Frankie loved. for me to go through Blair's stuff again, right? But I don't know what else to do. The stalker has the chain, so that leads to dead end now, but I'm not giving up. I'm not. What does it say? Press to rewind and play the whole tape again from the beginning. Isn't that what McNamara always says? Keep digging in the sandbox till you find what's been staring you in the face the whole time. Right? This guy screwed up. Screwed up somewhere. I know he did. And nobody can kill that many times without slipping up. So that's a given. Now we just have to figure out where and how so we can nail it. I 
I've never felt like this before, Gary. But I hate him. I don't even know who this guy is. I hate him. And I'm going to get him. I'm going to do anything. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Gary? Gary? Stay with him for a while, if it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna jump on some patients, okay? Oh, sweetheart. He said I was still part of the family, so I, I figured I belonged here. Frankie's gone. You think so? I'm not so sure about that. You know, she believed in all that cosmic energy and how we're all part of each other. That was all real, right? She could see things and, and hear things that no one else could. Well, it, it seems to me that since she loved you and Charlie so much, she'd want to stick around for a while, you know? Until she knew that things were okay with you. Because I know that no matter where she is, she's always going to love you. I'm always going to love her, too. Want to find out more about another world? On the internet, go to www.nbc.com. You'll find profiles and photos of your favorite stars, plus lots of other interesting stuff. It's another world on the internet at www.nbc.com. And while you're there, check out the new shows that are coming to NBC this fall on the web at nbc.com.